my name is Mr. Laro Kuhn. I have been in this uh, E2 uh, LGA all along, uh, walking to see how life moves. But however, I've been in this one before. Um, the real thing that we are looking at the present now that uh, has to do with the economy, have with what we call transport economy. And uh, it has affected us tremendously because the highway, with good intentions of the federal government, the highway, Calabar E2 highway, that links Calabar even up to Abia State, is nothing to write home about presently. That road, I remember when it was constructed in the 70s, between 1975 to 1979, when then, uh, at the, the time of late uh, Brigadier General uh, Eswene and uh, po Colonel Paul Omu, that the road was uh, um, commissioned, we drove to the road. Everybody could see that that road had uh, what, it, uh, what it takes to, to call a highway. But uh, through the years, the government uh, did not see the need to maintain that road. And for this number of years, that road has become a death trap to the entire citizenry of Nigeria. The number of uh, traffic we are having on the road, vehicles that are passing, most especially trucks, you can see the, 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 the road at now cannot hold width of the time because from 1979 till date you can see the number of years but uh, it's a pity the successful government and the particular at this time did not do the needful and that is where we are the road has become a serious death trap when i mean death trap souls have gone on that road a short while ago just about a month a highest boss ran into a, a i mean a gully erosion that has eaten part of the road and all the souls in that bag went away. Nobody gets. These are human beings that could help their families, that could bring succor to their family, but they're gone. Now, what are we doing? We are asking, I, I saw a, a, a clip from, from the records, the recorded the, the, how the, we had a, a traffic jam block and all that, tankers fall down, products wasted. And what are we saying now? We are still keeping quiet. I want us to let you know and to learn that about 70% of the wealth of this country comes from this environment the south south i wonder why the roads are like this i, I wish that um, the heads leaders of this country would come and see the road themselves so that at the end of the day they will appreciate the fact that something should be done about this road the road is still left just like that the construction companies are not working any longer what is going on nobody knows no they call, nobody is telling us anything only for and the cost of of, of running through this road now has become more than 50 times and what will the farmer, what will the trader, what other people do when it comes to economy and then the rise in food and all those things. That's a result when the road is good and when 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 fuel comes to a normalcy we will see the best. But I'm trying to say that this road is a dead trap. We need the government to do something otherwise more debt tools will be recorded. Let them come and see what is going on. And if you want to send your agency, it, it will take time. Let the governor himself, let the president himself come down and see things for himself, then he will appreciate it. Maybe uh, he's been furnished with uh, uh, some fanciful recording that is false, and then leaders will not know that these things are happening. At the point for now, hopefully that uh, uh, the roads, be taking good care of. Then uh, I don't know how long because it's taking too long. Time will stay the zero again. A job left behind might cost ten times the cost that we thought when we started. 
I pause for now. Hopefully that um, uh, I will see you later on.